Hi, I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. I'm out on the boat in Lake Erie, leaving Cleveland, heading towards Canada, and we're going to examine today if our borders are secure and if we are safe as Americans. Security experts say the rise of ISIS in Syria and Iraq has significantly increased the risk of an attack here in the United States. What if ISIS wanted to send a terrorist here? How hard would that be? If an ISIS terrorist could get to Canada, could he hire a boat? Could he bring poison or even the Ebola virus? Could he get across Lake Erie and into the United States? Could he do it without getting caught? We're just leaving Canada now. Careful, it's contagious. Last month, we crossed the Rio Grande from Mexico into the United States. Our report changed the national debate. It also seems to have garnered the attention of ISIS. This document obtained by the Breitbart News Network is from the Texas Department of Public Safety. It warns that ISIS is actively encouraging supporters to take advantage of the porous U.S. borders. It specifically cited our Texas report as evidence. With all the attention focused on the Mexican border, we wondered about the level of security on the Canadian border. All right, so this is Captain Bob Swinney. Uh, Captain, uh, where exactly are we? Uh, we're in Lake Erie. Um, I don't know, 10, 15 miles maybe off of the U.S. coast. Captain, how, how often do you see Border Patrol? How often are they out here? Do you see them frequently? Um, no, I've never seen Border Patrol out here. I have seen Coast Guard a time or two. Sitting on the southern shore of Lake Erie, the Cleveland metropolitan area is the home of about two million Americans. It's just about 45 miles from Canada. And what are the immigration laws like in terms of uh, checking in with authorities if you uh, pick up somebody? Uh, basically what's supposed to happen is if, if you're going to leave U.S. waters, you're, you're supposed to call the uh, Customs Border Patrol. So it's basically like an honor system. Basically, You're supposed yes. to do it yourself. Correct. So they expect like a terrorist to potentially check in with the uh, immigration people, right? I, yeah, I guess that's the idea. We checked the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol website and it confirmed the absurdity. Operators of small pleasure vessels arriving in the United States are required to report their arrival to Customs and Border Patrol immediately. The Canadian border has become relevant because the British government says American journalist James Foley's ISIS assassin was an Englishman. British intelligence believes more than 500 British citizens have joined ISIS. Brits can enter Canada without a visa. It's virtually an open door. Hiring a small boat to travel from Canada to the middle of Lake Erie could not be easier and no one seemed to notice the terrorist on board. Yeah, right there. Get as close as you can. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Abdul. I was just crossing the border into America. What are you going to do in America? Well, as you know, on, on August 17th, we stole Ebola from a lab in Liberia. We took the bandages and bed sheets, and then we, we covered themselves in it and hoped that we get infected. The incubation period is about 21 days, and well, it's been about 21 days. How, how did you get here? Did you cross in that in a boat or something? Well, I used my British passport to get to Canada, and then, yes, I took a boat. No Border Patrol stopped you? Do you see any Border Patrol? Do you see any Coast Guard? What's in that other bag? This is ricin. As you can see, Cleveland's water supply is over there. If, if we pour it in there, it'll, it'll kill a lot of Americans. So, obviously, that guy is not really an ISIS terrorist. We don't actually did not import ISIS terrorists into the United States from Canada, but anybody can get across this border. You can come across in a jet ski if you wanted to. And no, this is not actually ricin. This is not actually Ebola. But you could import weapons. You could import whatever you wanted to because there's no detection on our borders. And that's the question we're asking again. Do you feel safe? On the eve of the 9-11 anniversary, our man dressed as an ISIS terrorist was able to cross Lake Erie, walk off a boat into Cleveland, Ohio, and into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. At no point did anyone even question him or ask him what he was carrying in his suspicious brown duffel bag. <laughs>